Friends, today I'm going to show you how to cook several things at the same time in an instant pot. Uh, it is very easy. One beautiful thing about an uh, instant pot is you can use any, any glass container which is oven free uh, in the instant pot. I've got this, this uh, from Amazon. It has three, con three uh, partition. It comes with a lid. In fact, I bought it for $19, three units of this from Amazon. And you can actually cook three things at the same time. So I'm going to cook actually four things at the same time. I'm going to cook three things here and also I'm going to cook a bowl of rice separately in different con container and actually you could cook both of these things together in 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 an instant pot uh, with the method of potting pot <laughs> so let's do it so I'm gonna cook three things today so this has three separate containers so in one I have put yellow tur dal so I'm gonna cook that dal separately and also I have mix of brown rice quinoa and lentil in one section and in other section um, I have cut zucchini uh, together with some spices so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a um, little bit more water in the dal section uh, together with some cut onion and tomatoes so it will become a soup kind dal and for quinoa and rice and lentil together I'm gonna add a little bit less water so it becomes like a rice and then in zucchini section I'm not gonna add any water I'm just gonna put some little bit oil so it will uh, have a good texture so if you add water in the zucchini section then it will become mushy so do not add any water in the zucchini section So there is already one and a half or two cups of water inside the instant pot. So you need that for steaming function. So it won't work uh, without water inside in instant pot. So now I have these three dishes cooking at the same time. And the cool part of this uh, container is that it just goes inside the instant pot, right? So I'm gonna just gently put it on the bottom so on top of that i want to cook this brown rice separately right so i i just need to put fit in this brown rice um, on top of that three dishes i'm cooking so i have this simple stand so i'm gonna use uh this you could use any stand which would which would fit so i'm not just gonna put this stand on top of this and then settle in my brown rice uh on top of that and I'm just gonna close the lid in the instant pot right there and then put pressure this valve to the uh, pressure side to the left side and I'm gonna switch on the instant pot so in instant pot so as I'm cooking the brown rice so I would choose multi multi-grain function and I'm gonna put it for uh, 25 minutes 25 I, I can put it for 30 minutes um, 30 minutes and then it will start by itself uh, so I've, once it is done uh, let it let the pressure release uh, naturally by itself if you release itself if you manually release then it will not be good the rice will have still water in it so it is very important that you let the pressure release automatically on or natural way so we'll see again after 30 minutes it takes 30 minutes to cook and then of course it takes about 45 minutes to release the pressure as you can see um, uh, instant pot has done cooking in pressure 
but as you can see that the pressure valve is still up so you cannot open and as we discussed before you should not release pressure manually so what we need to do is let it sit there and let the pressure release naturally and you'll take another maybe 40 minutes or so for it to release naturally as you can see that it has been 33 minutes since it stopped pressure cooking but as you can see from this valve that the pressure has not uh, been released yet uh, normally I would just let it to release all naturally but I'm hungry and it's lunch time so I'm gonna release the pressure manually so for releasing pressure manually I want to make it safe away from the cabinet so I would safely release the pressure in fact there wasn't too much pressure left so now a moment of proof let's see how how is our rice and all three dishes oh rice is perfect can you zoom in rice rice is perfect and take it i will take out rice and put it on see rice is fluffy and perfectly cooked put the rice on side and can you zoom in in fact i forgot to put i forgot to put tomato and tomato and onion in dal okay that's fine but dal looks cooked fantastic and also you can see the quinoa, quinoa and rice has cooked fantastically and as you can see the vegetable has also cooked really good so see three dishes cooked same time in one pot and then there is rice cooked in other pot and you can this is really hot See the vegetable has cooked really nicely. There's this quinoa down and then fluffy rice here. Enjoy.